And don't go after the things that spoil. What's that? Don't seek miracle signs and wonders first. Seek Jesus. And from there, you'll get miracle signs and wonders. If you get a miracle sign and wonder, I'm telling you the truth. You know what's going to happen? If you get that without learning to actually know the Lord, you have the possibility to lose it. Why? Because it's only meant to bring you unto Him. If you're seeking for that, you're going to get what that gives. Instant miracle, but then emptiness. If you go after Jesus, you're going to get satisfaction. You're going to get rest. You're going to get peace. When you get the miracle, you're going to keep the rest and peace because it wasn't based on the miracle. This is where God develops your heart. This is where God develops your motives. It's not a bad motive to want a healing and a deliverance and a miracle. It's a bad motive when that's all I do is seek for that. Because in that itself is emptiness. In ministry and doing things for God itself is emptiness. People go, they got big ministries, they got everything going, every camera, everything flashy. And let me tell you something, if they don't know the Lord, what do I mean by that? Spend time with God. On a daily basis, they're empty. I don't care what they say, because the Word says it. The Word says the only way you can bear fruit, and fruit of that is faithfulness, which means a type of consistent and also love, joy, and peace. You cannot have joy and peace at all if you do not abide in Jesus. It's not possible. You can get all the money in the world, you can have everything to eliminate your worries, only to find out you have another worry. And you don't know where it's coming from. You don't know what's happening. P even the devil knows this in his kingdom. You push people out to do the ministry first and everything dealing with God and all their calling first without knowing Christ through cleansing. He'll attack you and drop you. He knows it. He's not dumb. The Bible even prepared the people in the Bible. Many people, they, they want it now, but I'm telling you, that now, if you're not preparing with the Lord, what does the Lord say? Stay in position. Many people he's saying right now too, stay in position. What's that mean? Stay abiding in Him and He in you. Stay in position and discipline with the Lord and growing with the Lord. And when He does it, He'll do something. He'll open a door that no man can shut.